Thank you. Um, so this talk is about how we use GIS in our grant programs and how spatial data is important to our monitoring, evaluation, and learning. But my story really begins in Puerto Rico on September 20th, 2017, when Hurricane Maria made landfall as a Category 5 hurricane. Next slide. Maria caused massive devastation, including the longest power outage in US history that lasted nearly a year. A Harvard study determined that 3,000 Puerto Ricans lost their lives in this event, and that most deaths could be linked to the lack of health care due to the lack of power. Next slide. Direct Relief immediately began donating medication and medical supplies, but the challenges were enormous. How could patients access care if health centers were damaged? What kind of needs did the patient population have and where were they located? And how could we go from an emergency situation to a resiliency plan? Next slide. With help from a $50 million grant from AbbVie, we began to tackle the issues that would improve people's access to health and improve resiliency in the health system. Some of our largest requests have been around infrastructure repair, renewable energy, and medical mobile units. With such a large program, it was important for our team to be informed by data from the affected communities. Next. As of today, we have over 400 projects on the island. GIS gives us a comprehensive view of what we are funding and where, and it helps us contextualize or geo-enrich our areas of interest. This data-driven monitoring and evaluation approach offers evidence-based feedback, which allows us to continuously improve our grant making and determine where certain programs may have the most impact. Our solar energy programs, for example, symbolized in yellow here, were targeted to communities with high levels of health vulnerability related to power outages. Next. When a swarm of earthquakes hit Southern Puerto Rico in January last year, the health centers we provided renewable energy to managed to keep the lights on even when surrounding areas lost power. The special terrain and mobile medical units we provided were deployed to distribute aid even in the most remote mountainous communities. Soon after that, COVID hit and the mobile units were again deployed, but this time for COVID testing. Today, they administer vaccines. The data from all these events is continuously collected and managed in our GIS system and used to inform our future decision making in Puerto Rico. We can really learn how these different components start to work together, as in this example, to improve resiliency. Next. Today, Puerto Rico's health system stands better prepared to face the next emergency. Thanks to GIS, we have a better understanding of how and where we can improve access to healthcare for all Puerto Ricans. Thank you.